All right, so we are here in 2019. This is the first video of the year, and I thought we'd start things off a bit different. I was gonna do a video like this last year, but I didn't have the time, I didn't, you know, it just never really happens. So we're gonna start off this year with this, every MX versus ATV game, including MX Unleashed, but not including MX versus ATV on the edge, because as far as I understand, that is just MX versus ATV Unleashed for the PSP, the handheld. So. I guess we're gonna acknowledge that it's in the series, but it's not, it's basically MX vs ATV Unleashed. So I don't have footage of that, I'm not counting that one, but I will let you know that I, I know that was in the series. I believe it came out in 2006, like a year after MX vs ATV Unleashed did in 2005. So yeah, it's there, but we had, uh, we are gonna use MX Unleashed because I feel like that was like a, you know, the door leading to the MX vs ATV uh, series. Then MX vs ATV Unleashed, On the Edge, Untamed, I believe Reflex, Alive, Supercross, Supercross Encore, and All Out. If that's not correct, I will have it corrected on screen, but I believe it's something like that. So we have gameplay footage of everything. I went in and got fresh new gameplay footage for every single MX vs ATV game, and uh, except for MX Unleashed, I actually am reusing some footage I had from before, but you might hear uh, me talking over it because it's a, a video we had on the channel already, but yeah, we have every every, uh, every MX vs. ATV game. It's like I collect them, kind of. I'm a huge fan of all of them. So even though one falls in last place or my least favorite, it doesn't mean I don't love the game, it, okay? I love all the MX vs. ATV games. It just means that, you know, I love the ones above it a tiny bit more. But it does not mean that I don't like that game. It just means that's where it is on the list. And I'll try to give you, as, you know, the best reasons as to why I put it there and you know, whatnot, but maybe sometimes it's just, I preferred other ones, you know? It's as simple as that, so, uh, yeah, we're gonna jump into this, but before we do, make sure to, if your list happens to, uh, I guess, agree with mine, let me know in the comments, I'd be curious, because I really don't think many people will agree with me, but if you do, let me know in the comments, and if you don't, please, let me know your least favorite to your most favorite MX vs. ATV game, I'd be curious to see, uh, you know, what a majority of everybody's least favorite and most favorite MX vs. ATV game is in the series. But, uh, we've talked enough, so let's just jump into this, starting with my least favorite. Okay, so MX vs. ATV Supercross and the next one could have been switched. It really didn't make too much difference to me, but... Uh, the more I thought about it, the more I realized that this is probably my least favorite MX vs. ATV game. Now, don't get this confused with MX vs. ATV Supercross Encore because the games are different. They do share a bunch of stuff like uh, DLC Supercross tracks, the Stewart Compound, uh, I don't know, a bunch of stuff, but they are different too. I believe Supercross Encore has different gear too, or at least some different gear and... Uh, a bunch of stuff, and we'll talk about that when we get there, but uh, that comes in much higher on the the ranking list for me. So, yeah, the reason this comes in at the bottom, it kind of, it's like the opposite of Alive, I guess, you know, where we got a bunch of Supercross tracks, because that's what the game is, but we really only got, like, there's a national track here, but you couldn't race it. There was the Stewart Compound, and that was really it, pretty much. The, you know, it was almost just Supercross, where Alive was basically just Nationals with two DLC Supercross tracks and the Stewart Compound. And this game, it's kind of weird because it feels like it takes a bunch of borrowed content from Alive. You know what I mean? It just kind of feels like more of a combination between Alive and Untamed, I guess than what they said I believe was Untamed and Reflex in the beginning, but it feels, it feels, the closest thing this game resembles in my opinion is Alive. It, I know that a lot of people that like Alive would disagree with that, but in my opinion, it just feels like it borrowed a bunch of stuff from Alive, you know, to make this game. And the, it, the way it controls, it feels quite a bit different. The game in general feels slower than Supercross Encore. Uh, it's all, it feels more slippery than Supercross Encore, and it was the only game where, when I was playing it, it was kind of like, man, do I really like this one, or do I not like it? Like, when I was playing it, it took a long time before I felt like, okay, I, I'm okay with it. I don't mind it. 
You know, it, it takes quite a bit of getting used to. I know Encore does too because of how slippery it can be, but this game felt even more so than Supercross, uh, Supercross Encore. So yeah, MX versus ATV Supercross coming in in the last position for my ranking list. All right, so coming in next on this list, say it ain't so, there's no way you could have MX versus ATV Alive at this low on the list. It's impossible. I'm sorry, but for me it is. And I know for a bunch of people, this could be their go-to number one best MX versus ATV game ever made. I get that, I understand, it did a bunch of things great. I think the bike sounds were good. I think the tracks were designed well. I think the scaling on the two Supercross tracks, even though they were DLC, was really well done and uh, felt the most realistic out of any of them. The losing your momentum punishes you like crazy. You have to find a flow. This is by no means the easiest MX versus ATV game out there. There was, in my opinion at least, there is definitely a skill gap on this game, which is great. Okay, these are all things that I think are great with the game, but it just felt like it didn't have the content. You know, this is kind of when the DLC started creeping up, right? And so we got a bunch of national tracks, but really no Supercross track. If you didn't buy the two Supercross tracks as DLC or have the code for the James Stewart compound, you just had the national tracks and the short tracks, whatever. It's basically kind of the same thing. Yeah, so it was just a national track and they had no Supercross. So it was like pretty much the exact opposite of MX vs. ATV Supercross. So these two games were very similar, I think. and. Uh, like I said, Supercross seemed to have borrowed a decent amount from Alive, and I just never got comfortable with this game. It was tough, dude. It was tough, and I, I enjoy and respect the fact that this game was tough and hard to learn and, you know, took some time to get good at, but I just never really loved it, you know? I never fell in love with this MX versus ATV. It's not that I didn't like it, I just didn't love it. And part of that could be because when it came out, I played it for a bit and then borrowed it out to a friend and never got it back, okay? I never got the game back. And then up until recently when I started playing it again on YouTube here a couple of years ago maybe, that's when I bought the game again. And it was a grind. And, and that's another thing I didn't really enjoy. I mean, having to do what we do nowadays where you get credits or coins to, you know, by winning races and doing things and then using that to buy parts to upgrade your bike is great. I don't mind it. But this was like, this was like super grindy because the game gives you like these perks you can equip. You can equip two different perks when you're playing and uh, to get some of the better ones like Clutch Master, uh, Scrub Master, a Whole Shot Master, you know, whatever. It's a grind and it was a huge grind and maybe for some people that really enjoyed the game didn't feel like that. But for me, this was one of the most grindy moto games that I can remember. I mean, I can think of a couple more, but uh, we'll save that for another day. I just, I don't know, I just never really enjoyed this one. And it, Okay, not enjoyed it, love it. I never loved this one. I liked it, I found enjoyment in certain things, and it was fun after you kind of got used to it, but uh, it was just a different feel for an MX vs. ATV game, and I really don't think there's any MX vs. ATV game out there that can really compare this one to it's it's so different you know it's a, it's like its own thing all the other mx versus atv games i feel like can kind of uh be compared somewhat to other ones this one is like the the lone one that i feel like is it's just it's its own thing so sorry if you have this much higher on your list but for me Part of it is because I didn't play it very much, and part of it, I just never really got comfortable with it and the grindy nature of trying to unlock the 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 perks that you can have was kind of annoying to me, and uh, it was tough. It was really tough, and it, that's not what makes it a bad game. It just, I never got super into it because of that, maybe. I don't really know, but yeah, Alive comes in next on this ranking list. All right, so here's where things start to get really tricky. The The first two here, the bottom two, were a bit easier. I kind of already knew that uh, I, I wanted to put those two there. It, like I said, they could kind of be interchanged because they... 
I, I kind of basically feel the same about, about both of them between Supercross and Alive, but here it was a lot tougher because this is where it's kind of getting for me to the point where I love all these MX versus ATV games, okay? So really, really difficult to try to put a ranking on this, but I really wanted to just uh, for curiosity's sake, I guess. And so MX versus ATV Untamed would come in uh, next on this list. And I, I feel like I'm not alone when I say that I believe that MX versus ATV Untamed is a very underrated uh, MX versus ATV game. I feel like when this one came out, it was like, because this would have been the, this would have been the very last single analog stick controlled MX versus ATV game because after this, we jumped to Reflex, I believe. So, huge change and, I don't know, I, I, I enjoyed this, this game a lot. I mean, I played it a ton on the Xbox 360 and this is still my original copy and, uh, occasionally I'll go into a store and I'll, I'll once in a while see them still trying to sell uh, MX vs. ATV Untamed uh, hard copies. Like they'll have them uh, laying around once in a while. So cool to still see that that game's floating around because I do feel like it was a very underrated game. It had tons of uh, uh, national tracks, supercross tracks, big open worlds. I mean, this was all the stuff that we used to get in the game before DLC became a thing. And, and I realize that people hate it that it's in moto games, but it's no different than any other game, guys. Come on, think about this. Other games just saturate the heck out of you with uh, DLCs too. For a skin on a, just a character skin or whatever the skin may go on, you know, you get oversaturated with there and you may complain under your breath, but it's not like you're complaining like you do with this stuff. So I get that DLC sucks, okay? It sucks having to pay extra for stuff, but it's a bunch of other games used to never do it either, and now they do. So uh, it just feels like this and Reflex were kind of the last MX vs. ATV games where they were just filled with a bunch of content and uh, not a bunch of DLC later. So the amount that you got in this game was amazing. I do feel like the controls were a bit wonky once in a while. I mean, you did have the clutch boost to some degree, uh, similar to... Uh, alive I guess and you did have the preload and the whipping and scrubbing is a bit different because it still is the single analog stick control but it's like they tried you know adding more to the whip and scrub from unleashed with this one you kind of use the break I think and then there's like a scrub button it's kind of weird how it works but uh, you can't kind of whip and scrub but uh, it's just kind of weird how it works so uh, a few things like that. It did have a phenomenal soundtrack. I remember loving pretty much every song that they had for the lineup on this uh, NMX vs. ATV Untamed. They also had Mini Moto. They had the Monster Trucks, which I'm sure you'll see somewhere in here. And they had all the vehicles still. They had Enduro Cross. I think this is really one of the only Enduro Crosses in the MX vs. ATV games. I mean, Reflex had like the Omni Cross where you, yeah, it wasn't really Enduro Cross so and just, I don't know, it was kind of the end of a, the end of an era for MX vs. ATV before they moved to the more contemporary style games, you know what I mean? So it's like, my nostalgia can hit me pretty hard with this one because I remember as a kid playing it a bunch and knowing that after this is when we start the jump to the newer style games and the way you know the industry works nowadays. So yeah, I, I love the game. It, it feels like it's a bit low on the list, but that's just saying how difficult it really is to, to try and put a ranking on these things, you know what I mean? So coming in next on the list is MX versus ATV Untamed. All right, so coming in next on the list is MX Unleashed. And I almost didn't count this because it's not MX versus ATV, but I feel like it was really, really important to the MX versus ATV series. So I want to throw it in there. Plus, I feel like it was just important for motocross games in general. This game was like way ahead of its time. I was playing Supercross 2000 on the Nintendo 64, Superfly, you know, this game came along and was so much better than anything else. I mean, I love Superfly, don't get me wrong, but this game was just insane. I believe I was playing it on the Xbox, the original Xbox, and 
it just i remember playing it so much and it, it just paved the way for the mx versus atv series and the games we have nowadays it was ahead of its time it was a pioneer it was uh you know you got to show love to the og because of this game you know the mx versus atv series just kind of came about you know I, I know i guess we had the the atv off-road fury games and stuff but mx unleashed just I feel like this is what pushed us to the MX versus ATV games, and it was so much fun. It's still so much fun to play. Sorry if it's kind of weird, too. I'm, like, talking over my own voice because this was an old video I did for a, a classic throwback a long time ago, and I'm just reusing that video because it was, like, a pain to to get new footage for this specific game. I got new footage for everything else, but this one was a pain, so... Yeah, anyways, uh, I don't. I just don't have much bad to say about it. I, I really feel like MX vs. ATV Unleashed was probably better than this one was, but, I mean, they're really similar. As far as controls and how they control, they're very similar. I feel like the, the rider was maybe even more uh, loose in how he was on the bike and stuff than MX Unleashed even. I mean, they're both really loose, but... Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, there's just not much to criticize about it. I feel like the games in front of it, I enjoyed more that I have higher on the list. But, I don't know. It was really tough. I feel like this game isn't the best one in the series, but it's the most important one. You know what I mean? Maybe the most important in the beginning of the MX vs. ATV series. It's really hard to say. I just, the game doesn't do anything bad, and it does everything good. I, don't know why. I just feel like the games above it, I liked even more. So, it, But that's all thanks to this one. So that's about all I have to say about this game. MX Unleashed coming in next on this ranking list. Okay, so coming in at number four on this list is MX versus ATV All Out. And this one... It's kind of tough because I play it on PC and I have a super smooth frame rate. The game looks great, max settings, everything's super smooth and I really enjoy it. But if I go to console, at least a regular PlayStation 4 is what I have, it gets kind of, it still isn't running where I would like to see it. It's, it's not bad, it has gotten better, but it's still not performing where I really would want it to be. You know what I mean? So. I'm going to judge it based off of PC and console. And I know like on the, the maybe the Xbox One X and the PS4 Pro it might be a lot better, but on OG PS4, Xbox Ones, it can get kind of uh, have performance issues still. But uh, overall, I think the game came with a bunch of content. It came with a bunch of national tracks, a bunch of Supercross tracks, uh, the UTVs, the bikes, the quads, uh, free ride open world areas, uh, has the tricks reworked, and it came with a bunch of stuff. The problem is that the national tracks weren't really that good. The supercross tracks were pretty darn good, but the national tracks just weren't really that good. And now, uh, you're probably seeing it somewhere on here, they've given us like Crescent Lake and Bighorn for a very fair price. It's like these two huge MX parks for five bucks. Yeah, that's a fair price. But, you know, it, it, I agree with what people are saying that we should have had stuff like this in the game right away. You know, these should have been the national tracks that were in the game from the get-go. So I see where it's, you know, it's like, well, I don't really want to buy the DLC when I wish these would have been the tracks in the game in the first place. Well, they weren't, and they're getting to us now. And I think it's a very fair price. And DLC can... I guess DLC, you either don't mind it or you hate it. Of course, I wish we could go back to the day where MX, uh, MX vs. ATV Untamed, where we had everything all in one game for one price. That'd be great, but we don't. And since a bunch of games that we play and that I play uh, have DLCs, it doesn't really bother me to have an occasional DLC to have support for this game. And on top of that, we don't really know. I can't, com you know, I can't put this higher or lower on the list because we don't know what's going to happen with this game. It's not done being supported, you know. When it's done being supported and I redid this, then maybe I'd put it higher or lower. But since we don't know, it's gonna stay right where it is, you know, kinda in the middle area. Uh, I really like it, it's not my favorite one, but the more I play it and the more content that comes out for it and the more that they keep working on the game itself to improve certain aspects of it, the better it gets. So who knows, this could move up higher and higher eventually, but uh, for right now, it's gonna sit in at number four. I guess I don't really have too much to say. It's just, you know, we play this game a bunch. I've 
kind of told you how I feel about the game and, you know, where I stand on it. And again, I'm going to say it one more time that we don't know what's going to happen with it. They're not done supporting it. They said they're going to support it through 2019 yet. So a lot could change. So we'll have to maybe revisit this list after they're, they've announced that there will be no more support for it. But for now, they're going to support it through 2019. So MX Brothers ATVL comes in at number four on this ranking list. So here we are. We are cracking into our top three on this rank list. This is MX versus ATV Unleashed, the OG of the MX versus ATV games. Not counting MX Unleashed. I know we already went over that. But uh, sorry about the gameplay. I did have to play on the keyboard. My mouse or my uh, controller was like not working for some reason for this game. And so, yeah, we had to use the keyboard, which was super annoying. But we did get through it and. You know, every time I come back to the game, it's like, wow, I forgot how good this game was. It's so... You have total control of the bike and rider, so the physics are very, the physics are very free. It is just single analog stick, but it's shocking that a single analog stick game from so long ago could be this high up on my list. It's that good. It's really that good. The tracks were fantastic. Again, kind of what we've said with other games, because it's older, it has... A bunch of content in it. it has a bunch of tracks a bunch of free ride areas a bunch of different bikes it even has you know quite a bit of gear and you can change that gear by you know pressing like X on the controller so if you went to like Fox you could get the different uh, kind of like color schemes and, and stuff like that and customize the bikes it has four strokes two strokes it's got just a little bit of everything it's got different vehicles in it it's just really good and I think what makes this track so extremely good for me is not only how free the bike feels but the track designs I mean yeah the tracks are wicked wide and everything but remember back in the day when we played photo games people didn't complain that this has to be more realistic than real it's got to be more real than real so you know we were okay with having wide tracks and hitting massive jumps with these huge preloads. So the tracks were so much fun. These tracks still stick in my head. I remember waiting until after school and going and battling like seven of my friends, you know, saying that I am the king of MX versus ATV Unleashed and having them try to dethrone me. You know, I, I remember doing stuff like that and it's just good, dude. It's just that good. It had a great soundtrack too and it had a lot going for it. I mean, it really did have a lot going for it. And the game was, I don't know, I just can't really say much else. And cheat codes, remember? Cheat codes. Making your own tracks. I mean, can't really say all the good things in this short period of time. You just have to play it for yourself. So, MX vs. ATV Unleashed, starting it all off as far as MX vs. ATV goes. Fantastic track lineup fantastic uh, open world free ride lineup, fantastic playlists, uh, bikes, just, I don't know. It pretty much everything was good with the game. I can't really think of too many negatives to say about uh, MX vs. ATV Unleashed. So MX vs. ATV Unleashed comes in at number three on this ranked list. Okay, so coming in at number two, we have to go through number two before we get to number one. MX versus ATV Supercross on Cora takes the number two spot. I know a bunch of people's mouths just dropped. Oh my god, how could Supercross Encore get to number two? I love the game. I love it. I played it so much. I've made like uh, over 100 videos on just this game, not counting another 100 on MX versus ATV Supercross. I love the game. I got fairly good at the game, and when you get good at something, you kind of enjoy it. You know, it had a really dumb bad stupid looking whip glitch in it uh it could be stiff at times it was slippery sometimes i mean it had its fair share of issues but i loved it i loved it i played it so much i played it so much for youtube and then mx versus atv gave us the 2017 monster energy supercross tracks replica tracks like a week before the actual race happened that was next level. That was game changing. 
Dude, I can't even tell you how many hundreds of hours I played in the game after that happened, you know? So I already had hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours, thousands of hours in the game, and then that happened. And I played and I played and I played and I played and I played. I made videos for YouTube, but I played way more outside of doing YouTube videos than doing YouTube videos, I guess. I mean, I remember grinding with Matt and there was a bunch of us that would just grind for lap times and races and stuff like that. And we were streaming it all the time and I was trying to get within the top 100, top 50 lap times. And I know I did on several, several of the tracks. I don't know if they're still there, but at one time I did. Kind of learned how to use the manual transmission and how it worked. And once you understood the game and just embraced all the flaws that it had, it became super fun and I got good enough that I really did enjoy it and when you get good at something I already said this you just start to enjoy it and and that's what happened with MX vs ATV Supercross Encore it was that uh, it was like that you didn't expect to fall in love with it but you did I did I'm not speaking for everybody because I know it's not for everybody but if you just learn the game eventually it grows on you and I think it was actually a really solid game and it did borrow a bunch of stuff. It had rhythm racing, which was different. It had the free ride maps and the national tracks from Alive, which were borrowed again from Alive, but it was different from Supercross. The way the bike handled was more free and less stiff, and it was less slippery than it was with MX vs. ATV Supercross. It was just better, and they developed it so much better. We had Squall Valley. We had... So that was two Supercross tracks, two national tracks. They had all the DLCs from the original Supercross game. They gave us quite a bit of stuff and they developed it for quite a while and I really did enjoy it. And I know it had a bunch of DLCs, but the game was like only 30 bucks. It was only 30 bucks to begin with. So you could have bought quite a few DLCs before you hit that, uh, that $60 AAA price, you know what I mean? So. Overall, really good game on console. I know on PC it ran kind of weird sometimes, but on console at least, I love this game. I love it. And it comes in at number two on my list. I know people are going to disagree with it, and that's fine. Let me know what your list is, but you're not changing my mind. I loved it. I played it a lot. We got good at it. And I just love Supercross Encore. Comes in at number two on this ranking list. All right, Whew. I didn't know. I don't know if we could do it, but we got through it. And this is our number one MX versus ATV game in our ranked list. This is MX versus ATV, ATV Reflex. If you've been living under a rock and don't know anything about Reflex or MX versus ATV, you should know what Reflex is. People talk about it and bring it up daily. This is, in my opinion, I raise my hand in guilt, the greatest MX versus ATV game ever made. It's not even really that close, in my opinion. It's just, you add the fact that you can get Reflex on PC, the multiplayer still works, and all the custom content, and I don't really know anything that can get that close to it. I mean, I just said that I love Supercross Encore, but I don't think Supercross Encore is near as good as Reflex. I mean, I think what I loved about Reflex, I loved the the reflex you got. So when you got out of control, you had to move the thumbstick in a certain direction so you didn't crash. I mean, sometimes if it was big enough, you crash anyways, but that was cool. I liked the dual analog sticks switching to that because this this is like right after Untamed, guys. This came right after Untamed. Look at the change, huge change. The bike sounds were pretty good. The graphics were good. The, the physics of the bike were so good and so free and it didn't have preload. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie. I really would like to see a future MX versus ATV game not have preload. It just leaning back. I really, really enjoyed the just having to hit a section really good, you know, carry your momentum. It's like that even with preload, but it was even more so because when you got out of control and get, you know, crashed or messed up a section, it was a lot harder to get through it because you couldn't just preload and clutch boost your way out of it, you know what I mean? So Greatest game, greatest MX vs. ATV game, and I just, you know, I can't really think of another one that would really even be that close. I know some people would have a different list, might say this and Alive are really close, because I know a lot of people love Alive and are going to be like, wow, how could you have it that low on your list? But I'm not the same as everybody. That's my opinion, and it's sticking, to, I'm sticking to it. It's staying that way, but Reflex is so good, dude. 
when it came out on the 360, story time. Quick little story, I think we have enough time. Uh, I actually, the same year that Reflex came out, uh, Assassin's Creed 2, I believe, came out. And I played through part of the game, and then uh, my copy got all messed up. I had a hard copy, so I tried taking it back where I bought it. And they said that they weren't going to give me my money back, but they'd give me another copy of the game. So I was just like, you know, whatever. I kind of wanted my money back because I wasn't really enjoying the game that much. But, uh, you know, it wasn't, it was, there's not much I could do about it. So anyways, when we go back to get another copy of Assassin's Creed 2, they didn't have any more copies. They didn't have any more copies anywhere. So they're like, uh, yeah, okay. I guess we'll either give you your money back or you can get another game of equal or lesser value. And so I got Reflex. And boy, am I glad that that day happened because I played the heck out of this game on the Xbox 360. Thousands. I mean, I have like almost 4,000 hours in Payday 2. I don't play that game anymore, really. But uh, I had just as many hours probably in Reflex, maybe more. And then playing it on PC. Now, I don't play it on PC. I only have like over 100 hours on PC, so not a ton, but uh, yeah, that's, it's still, I, I do play it, not as much as I used to, but it doesn't change anything that this is my all-time favorite, in my opinion, greatest MX vs. ATV game that uh, any future MX vs. ATV game will have to try to dethrone. It will be Reflex that they are trying to dethrone. Great game. I encourage anybody to go check it out, pick it up, especially if it's on PC. But uh, that's going to wrap it up. Thank you so much for sitting through the video and checking it out. Again, remember to let me know in the comments what your favorite uh, MX vs. ATV games are, starting with your least favorite to your most favorite, or just give me your top two, you know, whatever. I'm just, I'm really curious to see how your list matches up because I really think Reflex is going to be number one for a bunch of people. And uh, for the people that it's not, I'm curious to see where it sits on their list. But you guys and girls are absolutely amazing thank you so much for the support on the channel uh, over last year and hopefully we can have a super strong year this year for 2019 and we'll go from there but uh until the next video take it easy